What is up, y'all? It's me, Tasha C. And today's video, I originally was not going to do tonight. Today, you know, y'all, I usually be doing videos for some reason. I at least got to do one in, after midnight for some weird reason. But anyways, y'all, I was listening to, like I said, shout out. I like Zach. I got put on recently to uh, Zane, uh, let me say his name, France. Zane France. But I mean, it's, it, uh, it just came out his uh, second LP of the Ribbons and Backwards uh, season, uh, season two. I, like I said, I got juiced, juiced to, you know, following R&B dot uh, radar on a uh, YouTube. OK, so there's so, you know. And Murphy retrograde is in season stuff and both of them got a success. So like positive buys and prayers, y'all, because both of my parents got a cold. And it's like, I had to be cautious and careful because I got, I, it wasn't until 2016, I was diagnosed with both um, asthma and bronchitis. So, and four times in a row within that year, I got sent to the ER because I had respiratory areas, my bronchitis and asthma was flaring up. And I, you know, took a, like a year and a half to get it somewhat out of control a couple years as far as my reputation or at least getting the right medication you know where i haven't been in the hospital since wait a minute it was another time 2007 let me get it was like on and off like you know almost two years but anyway y'all so i kind of like okay dad you gotta help me with mom a little bit because i can't really really around y'all um stuff you know we got it from other relatives to pass it on here it's like you know you get a cold you get a cold and some you know like even me I, my parents asked me to go get the food and stuff and um with somebody even getting the food they they you could tell they were trying to hide a cold and go go it was just just like i said just praise and positive vibes you know i might do a separate video about that maybe a rant or something but yeah so you know just i just want to tell you things if you'd like to you know subscribe to the channel like you know share the video like the video. i just want to tell you advance i love you thank you for the i love you yeah, man, it's getting hot in here going crazy, man. I need everybody to keep screaming that shit. Oh, time for war. Time for war. Look at that. Thank you for the heart. I love you. 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 Come on, man. Keep turning me up, man. <laughs> okay, y'all. I just had to put that in. Try clipping it up. Like, I'll just leave it in there. But, you know, just say hug, love the best. Thank you for the support uh so far and then y'all y'all probably gonna hear some lightning because it's gonna be hot by i feel like 100 degrees tomorrow up here in michigan but then it's gonna turn around and you're gonna hear thunderstorms that so it, it's some it, it's a lot going on at the moment but you know positive fermentation we're gonna make it through it but anyway y'all like i said i was not gonna visually put out a video today but i'm up here finding my you know minding my business and you know i was just gonna let the run down because you know this rumor that you know um Halle Berry, Halle, Halle, I always get her name confused with Halle, Halle Berry. Is it Halle or Halle? Okay, Berry and DGG. You know, there's rumors, there's the possibility that Halle Berry might be expecting because a recent video social shot looked like possibly her stomach was bloated. And next night, you know, you got Beyonce, Beyonce you know, you know, at one of her to um, con uh, concert dates recently that she was in, I guess, you know, an uh, outfit that was like, quote, quote, wasn't showing her stomach, whatever, right? And then it was an event where it's like, okay, because it's kind of like a high-waisted event that they had. It's like, uh-uh, this is, this is not, um, this is not adding up neither. So people want an explanation of a grown grown woman minding her business make money and so forth whatever now originally like i said i was not going to bring this up but once you got fucking me who used to i mean q whatever the hell his name goes by now um who got his start all these people i'm mentioning got their start on youtube you know and i found them all content uh, content creators um i used to follow q and he's funky down eva i used to but you know he said he said some things that rubbed me the wrong way whatever 
before even this shit going out because this was definitely this was uncalled for you know you know in this world of course not it's not everybody uh it's not meant to like it like you not everybody you know gotta buy with you whatever but it doesn't have to be that means you have to tear somebody down in the process and especially the reasoning of a, like I said, you coming and attacking it, it somebody, and it's like, what the hell for? You grown as hell. Mind your business. But the case is, it, this doesn't make any sense. And it's also a case of like, okay, you be bashing or could be attacking about that, particularly bashing black women. That could be another issue as well. And, you know, and you know, such a sex shaming, body shaming, face shaming, all these other issues, so forth. Shaming, save the possibility if say how. Haley was pregnant. Well, okay. Um, that's her business. Um, but he just knows and can tell based on that uh that one cool. You can't tell, you can't hide it in basic post answer. And so yeah, this, this just came out this shit just came out like 30 minutes ago with this. It's like, what and huh? Make it all so short. If y'all don't know who these lovely people are, I guess excluding, you know, funky De- uh, uh, Deneva, you know, like you know, there are some people that I find a DGG or think like, you know, he a bad boy. I think he did so much better or whatever the case is. You know, they've been going to get a like for some couple of years now or something, right? DG, okay. Haley and Col- uh, Coley and Haley Berry are sisters that I found you original YouTube when they were kids. About at least about 10 or 11 years ago, maybe even longer than that. When they're doing covers and doing songs, you know, playing instruments, singing songs. And there were some songs that they were singing was Beyonce eventually. You know, they were doing skits even as kids, you know, partaking in, you know, like I said, in content then. And eventually over time, you know, they got, you know, signed, Beyonce discovered them, and then the rest came forward. For and also, they were acting also in Grown and I gotta watch that series. Yeah, very I only watch the first episode. Like I, said, I know that's so damn random. Partner. And so forth. Okay. So, um, besides them being a duo recently in the last couple years or so, you know, Haley, you know, is our black you know, Ariel, you know, she is our Little Mermaid that recently came out, uh, 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 right recently before. came out, um, well, a couple months ago, finally, uh, with that, and, um, you know, Coley is doing her thing, and she's always been, you know, singing and dancing. And like I said, it, you know, singing and dancing. People seem to, I guess, to feel the way that she happens to be, you know, sometimes where, oh, she she's showing why she's so sexual or promoting, like, she's like this permission. She don't seem to know something about blah, 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 and this and this and grabbing and why she always do this and why she always do that, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, that, that was kind of brought up as well. Um, but, you know, and and going from there, D, DDG is from I don't know what to say. Yaktown, Pontiac is exactly it's like an hour from Detroit, but he is from Michigan. And I actually have found him years ago when he was doing content. Wow, what about seven or eight years? Like, yeah, it's been it's been some years. I know it was like four or five. No, it was five or six years. Five or six. I, I forgot, y'all. He. Like I said, he started on YouTube before, even though, like, he was doing the rap and stuff, doing vlogs before. Um, I think he already moved out of Michigan by that time. But, like I said, I know about his content as well, and his rap career, and other, you know, other stuff he, he'd be doing. And I think he'd be doing reactions and stuff, too. I know he used to do, like, certain challenges and stuff like that, and so forth. And, um, so... Okay, y'all. I was making sure my parents okay. But yeah, y'all. I was just shocked to hear Funky and Diva. They got a show on Fox Soul, which usually have contact from, like, you know, from, you know, usually about new, like, different, like, um, like, talk shows or news shows had to do, you know, with, you know, us melanated people and what whatnot. So this click came out where this ninja, um, you funky Dineva, whatever. I mean, he still got the funkiness in it. Decide to basically, you know, basically start to attack Chloe and then turn around and come after Haley as well. You know, or the man like is if whether she's pregnant or not, she has to say some shit or demand to basically give an explanation whether she is or not. 
I, I didn't know that 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 entitlement, you know, is in the fine print and shit. That is entitled that she tells that. And where this might have been, like the last time I seen that, you know, um, Chloe and Haley got a deal with Victoria's Secret Pink, which I will assert this video probably later on or after this day, uh, this um, thing. I don't know. I, I would just put it, put one in this, but you know what? Let me put in first his funky ass statements to get his ass out the way, and I'll put in, you know, basically them whatever. Uh, <laughs> Like I said, it is just it is just uncalled for and a complete hot ass mess with that shit. For real, for real. The first, let's listen to this this pluckery. Okay, sir. None of it is fucking believable. None of it is believable. And I'll probably catch a lot of backlash for this. And without that makeup, she ain't you. She should have never showed up on that camera with that fat ass face. Without no makeup, she ain't you. You're not believable. You're so goddamn inauthentic. That's why your shit ain't selling. Alright, that's number one. The girl is clearly pregnant. You really wanted to shut shit down. All you had to do the next day was be like, Child, y'all know y'all need to stop playing. Where did they wear? Y'all know the stories about Haley. I can officially say I don't like her. Chloe baby is so goddamn lame to me. Talk to all girl. You are Mrs. Preppy Ashley for Sundance and Nails will give anything way about what my outfit is tonight. Now, but keep my sister's name out your mouth. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, now this just popped up. I was about to do, uh, uh about to, um, go and, um, uh, another vid, you know, do another, um, video or prepare for one. Now, I don't know because I have actually refused to watch the ancestors, but I don't know. It's a Claudio Jordan, and I forgot what his name, um, this co host stunned by his comments. Okay, let's laugh. Al Reynolds. Mm. Neighbors, it looks like funky, funky ass attitude slash hating ass condoling as funky the neighbors ass had a lot of not so interesting things to say about Chloe Bailey defending her sister Hallie against pregnancy rumors. During the episode of Fox Soul, a TGIF, the retired wig wearing, having ass seen to have whatever issues and coming at somebody who's just minding business and just being there for their sister, had this to say in regards to Coley saying the internet trolls better leave his sister, her sister alone. I don't like her, he exclaimed. You, you can vibe for somebody, but not tearing them down the way to, if she said something personal about you or came and kicked. You know, it's just the way he came at her was inappropriate but let me finish what else i mean even though say you hear the audio let me finish what else does this Chloe Bay said they got their name to me you and miss preppy ashley from the suburbs um she this month you came out like you being off misky and, and, and shit. Now you're trying to be gang. So none of this fucking believable. What's believable is you giving out some hater stuff. You know, get backlash. But I've been stopped kind of following fucking McNeil for years, or aka whatever his government name is, or whatever the heck it is. Uh, for years, it used to be funny, but then the ugliness started to show, and it got to the point where I, 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 I ain't got time for this shit. It just. It's not surprising him like spewing sometimes hate or shit that like questionable, but coming off as somebody that's not problematic, you know. And he went to attack Corey looks if somebody voted him handsome or even, you know, semi-cute 
or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Without that makeup, she ain't cute. She never should show the camera with her fat ass big face. He said. Now he face shaming. Would that be called? I mean, part of face is still the body, be, you know. But then she getting shamed for having say a full face. Yeah, she's you know there's makeup on. They just they just look younger. They kind of you know they kind of you know they they're young ladies. But it's just really disgusting to start. Folks, they believe Thomas did that. Holly is pregnant, and if she don't. Uh, if she was, she should have been lied to debunk the rumors. Um, actually, she's not required to do that. Um, but okay, keep going. Um, you know, you bitter ass motherfucker. Okay, um, verbal attacks of Cooley was clearly unprovoked as evidence co host call it was pierced stunned by a comment. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Uh, while the other co host Al Reynolds, written, oh, then he's married to Star, Judge, uh, Star Jackson. What was the name? You know, um, last time I heard him. Okay, neighbors, what are your thoughts? That's bullshit. That is complete bullshit. Never understand why. Oh, yeah, let's just look at some of the comments. Hallie, I think the rap will... Huh? Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. He is a grown-ass... Grown, you know, quote-quote, adult biologically. And yet he coming with somebody... It, it, it really was definitely uncalled for. So, I'm just looking at some of the comments like, you know, and... He, Okay. Oh, no. Ooh, I, I'm not saying it. I'm just like looking the comments, and y'all can take this as you know. It was definitely uh. Oh, okay, we talk about Michelle, Michelle payback money. So, um, it's really just disgusting and disturbing how you have like some people that will pick and choose, and not to bring an issue about self-hating or male didn't, didn't find some case stuff like that but this is like i said was disgusting and uncalled uncall for okay how does that make her a gangster or whatever and, and like i said it's also really disturbing on the count of okay she is a woman my boots making her money her and her sister uh uh, uh early just came out with the partnership you know they, they be having deals okay they, they, with their businesses uh with the notch nine with uh victoria's secret they pink uh, pink like, and they just had uh i need to make the video where it just came up on their actual in the uh, instagram page have together which shows the looks of the night and it's a couple people i'm gonna list to know that they had like a private event to launch you know one if they you know many and hope definitely will be successful we're gonna put that positive affirmation in the air thing but it's really disgusting and disturbing that this is oh okay you know just okay get authentic. That's why your shit ain't selling. All right, that's number one. Number two, I don't like people playing in our face, right? The girl is clearly pregnant. She's pregnant. All right, I analyzed that video. If one thing that I have to be peace on, she was wobbling, and then when she went to put her arm around the girl, the, the dress draped over the stomach. You can visibly see the damn bump, all right? She didn't shut down shit showing these old ass videos. If she wanted to shut something down, she just stayed her ass the hell home, all right? That's number one. Number two, that, that video, that old ass b roll, stop playing in our damn face. And if you really wanted to shut shit down, all you had to do the next day was be like, child, y'all know y'all need to stop playing. Where do you wear? She's playing. I mean, that, that, that. We was looking out for you, Haley. And you don't fuck around and let this nigga trap you. Because that's exactly what he did. He struck me as the type that put a baby in her own purpose. All right? And we was rooting for you. All right? Now, I hope that we live in a more progressive generation in society where it won't affect your Disney stuff. It probably will now because you can't be out here playing a child and you are all damn mama. But I think the black community, and although she don't belong to us and she don't owe us shit, I just think we're grossly disappointed because we saw more for her. She quick, dirty, easy way to shut it down. Mama is pregnant. And listen, the best wonder to now is if anything way about what my... You don't lost your damn mind. And when you get your damn mind, you call me. Now, of course, I'm going to uh, go look at it. 
How do we well, how do we get here? During discussion, Holly Berry Ledge pregnancy, Bunky New took the opportunity to insult not only Holly Berry's career, but also her looks. I have a few thoughts on this. First, it's insane how entitled the public has become with these seven celebrities' lives. Mm -hmm. Holly doesn't need to tell us a thing. Secondly, calling Coley ugly when you're sitting there looking looking like how you look how you looking is crazy. But let me know your thoughts in the conversation. Uh, uh, um um yeah um there, there's so much to be said here and i'm going to do this because this is this is ridiculous again um going back i know i'm being repetitive but i know i used to be making these over, over long videos and like the first 10 minutes about rent but this is I have to say it again before I show like the videos kind of like currently now also to show their businesses before kind of hopefully I end this video but to show like this the so-called something but it's policing it's also policing both of their bodies and it's also saying for example Chloe you know didn't say well because of her attitude so basically she should be bashed and bo bo uh, say negative things you could even say like okay that's kind of like bo bo bullying that was uncalled for which it was because she's defending her sister damn and even like you're not gay so you're not this and you promiscuous okay so because of what she wears which a lot of times, um, um, you know, uh, what she wears, is swimsuit or, you know, entertainment is question about she should be shamed. And, you know, um, if she was, you know, uh, throwing all, uh, uh, throwing all across the circle or uh, with multiple parts, whatever that it, it, it just, it, it, he, it gives the right that he feels the right to attack her inside and out. When people can come about his past and maybe possibly present and or what they think about his future about him as well. You know, as far as like talking about negative things and the past things, but there are plenty of talented people who and maybe hopefully in the near future, her next album, you know, eventually uh, gain, you know, like more sales that are people that are on the radio are not getting the streams and the views and, you know, and viewership but you know she still got them concerts she she still got me she's still like she got a soak and roll and i'll show this little clip coming up after i finish the rest of my little rant and also for him to be coming at Holly, like i said coming at them to the point like you're not gay you're not this and at the same time he you don't have it, 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 it's just giving off like you he's bashing uh, women and he has some hate particularly towards because like i said you can uh, dislike somebody you don't vibe them whatever and shit but the bullshit and the fuckery he just pulled has nothing to do with it, it, it this more that it's like you know i despise or whatever and ain't got nothing to do with the sexuality shit because you know uh you can you can hate somebody ain't got nothing to do with what you like in the bedroom or mental track or so forth etc it's just he's just giving me that because the person is just spewing on call for some people agreeing like yeah yeah you know i don't like her because of personality because she always doing the most and and uh, or this and whatever like no it was on call for him for doing that period and basically getting mad at her for being there for a family and i don't know if he mad because ain't nobody you don't feel don't have his back or certain people shouldn't have his back but oh well that's problems you gotta take up with the therapist i hope better i hope he's using better help or something like that because that seemed to be some spewing out issues and a man that's probably at least you know like like i said grown 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 but maybe at least maybe like 20 times or two you know 20 times you know 20 years or whatever but enough years it's like why are you spewing attacks and why do you think because you know Haley's for you know Haley. I hope I'm saying that right. Lord, I always get that baby her name right confused, uh, confused with Holly. Okay, Bailey, Bailey, whether she's pregnant or not with, D, D, uh, with DG, it's almost like he's spewing like because if she is possibly pregnant, which I'm thinking she just has a photo stung, but I mean, I'm not really searching. Like I said, I really this video really came up once he demands this, this entitlement like i said claws like celebrities are famous people who are still humans 
<laughs> you know what I mean? That does not mean they're entitled to give out our, the personal life. Is, is it bringing harm? Are they break, breaking laws? Are they breaking more courts? You know what I mean? Like what you know? It, what what you know, what I mean by that is is are these two talented people, young ladies? doing something and even down to dg he may, you know maybe not be a cup of uh, cup of tea with her I, I, I don't watch this kind of stuff i ain't gonna lie like i do like the dg i'm uh, i'm geeking geeking song and also yeah streaming for all that and um couple uh, like i said Haley, bailey song angel beautiful song beautiful voice as always colby's like i said got sick run the tour and you go go stream and by you know her like i said i didn't listen i listened to some songs that I've, I've listened to that but a lot of this is the far like let's say cool it's dope but they're both get, get the sisters together and it's individuals and separate and together they're dope okay so like i said for him just to be attacking them and limiting them as if there's not cheap like hey at least the first disney girl or person representing disney that you know you know uh didn't have a uh life beyond working for disney or just innocent that, that, this used to have controversy i mean that's a whole nother subject hey this thing, they racist cartoons remember zippity doodah whatever that damn thing with a happy sl slave just singing and shit what, what was that term they come on saying it's all the controversies why is it that because she's a disney person in the possibility of her being pregnant that her if the pop if that is her life stops and like DJ seemed the type of person how do you know but he is the same person who just just attacked chloe and came in also directly hit as well because also that's attacking her because she has a close bond with her sister okay and also the older sister what i didn't know till a couple months ago they had an older sister okay um but it's just very disgusting and like i said that could go on and on and uh, 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 and i can keep ranting and ranting about it but like I said, it, you know, um, uh, there's some support. Um, like I said, continue to support. You know, where you watching the shows they do, if you, you get the pen and you know, the clothes, whatever, like, don't just because of him, his opinion and him trying to say, like, Coley inside out is trying to say she ugly and her persona, which I didn't know it was limited. He's acting like she's sitting there saying she's going to pew, pew, pew somebody and shit and, you know, attack somebody. I mean, it does he have this anger towards people who actually bring harm to others? You get what I'm saying? The, the kids, the people, whatever. Even abusing animals and shit. Don't he got something else better to do to spew hate? And then he don't he and then he got a nervous and audacity brain, you know, trying to sprinkle in, you know, the black comedian. No, 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 don't, 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 don't generalize everybody and shit. This got something to do with your spiteful, spewful, funky ass. Ain't got shit to do with nobody else. Okay. That is yo, that funky ass, hating ass spew. I'm mad in the world. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me, whatever. But I'm going to attack somebody because I feel like it, whatever. Even if I, if they shouldn't be attacked and I feel entitled to people's lives. But we ask certain shit and cross the line about you. Um, I'm speaking to him, you know, to him, whatever. Would, would he, would he, you know, like to answer a few questions and how we feel if we went in the belt and spewed and say, I don't like your phone funky ass attitude or i don't like your face and i feel like you are washed up has been or you ain't shit or you okay you know um i'm not saying attacking but i'm just saying is and you don't know, talk about your past like toxic ass behaviors and questionable stuff uh you know I, I'm, I'm trying to avoid not saying certain stuff and accusations and or stuff that could be true so i'm going to leave that to myself um i know this damn video gonna be 40 minutes but it, it, it's just disturbing but but on that note y'all what do y'all think it, whether you watch eight minutes ten minutes or was able to watch the full thing and i'm just gonna leave a couple clips and also coley did send or uh, even a, the way she was positive about your way respond to that darn just this that's trash ass response that was uncalled for to talk about her i don't like her you just said like i don't vibe her but the but attacking her in a way is attacking for a reason that is what's going that that is just on call for just miserable just, just people some people sometimes just be miserable and shit. you grown so miserable look in the mirror 
ninja figure out what the fuck to do with your okay you know what <laughs> is i'm out here i'm about to show a couple because hugs and love and i'll see y'all in the next video rant um hopefully by that time my parents are doing better and hopefully by the grace of god i'm not sick self okay but anyway i'll leave you with a couple clips about the businesses and i am out and i'll see you in the next one and i know if, if, if sis is watching this or gets a chance to watch all this whole thing what do you think about this sis ooh, 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 ooh. what do you think he on some bullshit too and she probably gonna agree with me i'm not saying that you know be biased because that's my sis you know my sis name it Nene's kitchen okay Nene's kitchen um I'm, I'm i'm just saying that you know she she gonna say something about this shit and nine times a ten to some we agree because this was uncalled for but anyways y'all like i said hugs and loves and i'll see y'all in the next one this tastes like they used to but i just wanted to show the celebration you know then baby had the worst little time now mark your calendars like the new tasty y'all their pink partner so here's some more pictures Oh, we see some other uh, talented faces. We got Coco Jones and we got Ellie Mae, okay? And this picture is there again. Here's there again with the collaboration. Now this, they also got, they are also new Croc Ambassadors. That was the last post they had was the beginning, uh, beginning of the summer. This is just a commercial, but I'm just trying to see what it does ain't it interesting y'all how crocs has stayed in the picture i'm kind of glad that they did though i ain't gonna lie but you know it, it's it's interesting how you know like that's one of our shoes you know what i mean what was up for some of us this is her last post now she had no they they have it on their main page okay increase the tour she's still on her tour okay she's going to grand rapids did she did she come to troy see her second run later and they were able to get this totally came to treat a miss funky yeah it's funky all right funky ass attitude funky uncalled fuck bit of my mad like funky i see to have a problem and making a problem of a woman that's minding her business and make her cash and love and do what she do okay business okay Chloe Bay people get so mad at your happiness. Get help. Mm-hmm. A ding, a ding, ding. Okay, Chloe. He get hearts over here. Does she have any new music? I, you know, I, I think I'm going to make a section about, you know, music. Our I, I, uh, section about new music, new art, new videos, but I'm talking about music. But, you know, just uh, what I listen to. But she definitely will be included. And hit her sister, Eddie, to go also uh, stream and, you know, get that song. Because that's beautiful, too. Halle Berry, so, you know, Angel, dope as heck. Just, 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 you know, this should be promoted, okay? You rock, Holy Berry. Bugging me, but you, I, I'm trying to avoid not saying certain stuff. But it, that is very disgusting and very uncalled for, okay? Here's... It, Lee Berry's uh, page last night, like I said, her and her sister have a partnership. Okay, here's her and her sister. And they're there seeing H. You know, people, of course, you know, we ain't got to look at the comments about that, but I do like the wear. Okay.